In this episode, we'll talk about the switching because while it did happen, listen to find out what I mean. We are going to talk about Bitcoin, the Bitcoin chart and where it is going. Keith is going to talk to us. People, this is all the information you need to know about how the markets will be doing over the next few weeks. We are one day closer to the parabolic blow up top for XRP every day. Fried and Sambi, how many years do you have? Think that he should handle being locked up properly. The DOJ gave us an answer and I mostly agree with it. Now let's begin. Sit back and relax. The value of Bitcoin 67,900 Ethereum is down 44% right now and down 63% in the last hour. It is up 2% over the last 24 hours though, right now. I it's at 3,668. Both the USDC and USDP have reached their dollar pegs with a main lien of 62 cents. XRP is going down. They have $2 trillion worth of Bitcoin, which is 25% of the entire market value. Is it true that they are in a very strange situation? Before Bitcoin hit just over 73,000, it was below its all-time highs in 2017 or 202 to 2021. We had already passed it for the first time. So the question now is where Bitcoin wants to go. It's going to happen in about four to six weeks. So we know it's going to happen. In the past, Bitcoin's price would usually drop after a spike before going up again. Where are we now will be where Bitcoin is thought to be. From what I can tell, Bitcoin is growing. So keep going in this direction. But I think we'll get to $80,000 a lot sooner than most people think. For the market as a whole, what does that mean? I think there are signs that the remaining markets will go down. At the moment, though, I think we're mostly looking at just a range, and that range will be rough, dirty, and choppy. Get ready for this, people. Put on your seatbelt. The girl who walked away in crypto says, in people, the real turning has taken place. When you talk about flipping, this should come up. Bitcoin does better than Google searches and Taylor Swift. The game is over when Bitcoin flips Taylor, which is called flipping. Finally, I'd like to let anyone who didn't know what happened yesterday know that they should let the bulls run right away. Inc. is the world agreement for working together in the metaverse. Read the deal carefully and sign it. I will now start giving out information on this because their computer browser is the only thing that exists. Simple Unity game that lets you enter the metaverse. You can get it now for free. It doesn't cost anything. Don't forget that it's free. While it's still free, you should create an account to make sure it stays that way. In the event that it changes to a paid membership, you will need to pay. So you can sign up for the free account right now. You sign up for it so you have it and you get the grandfather right. Keep it even if you don't use it. It's an amazing and wonderful place. Here is a small tip. I'm going to show you this one. Stream if you go into the ring. The ISO 222 standard messaging system may be used to send a payment message. A member of the quorum has added a new model to the website. There is no magic involved, it's all XML. And the main thing pushing people to use them isn't your cryptocurrency, but digital currencies and stable coins made by state banks. This is very important for everyone. CBCs are getting more and more well known. Seeing how stable coins are used, it's all beginning to come together. The fight over it went on for a long time, and now central banks use digital money. CBCs are good for everyone. It looks like they fought to keep Bitcoin alive. And I've heard about 92 times that no one will use or accept Bitcoin, but look at how things are now. The same story goes on with digital money released by central banks. Digital money from a central bank will not be made or used by anyone. And no one wants digital money from a central bank from a central bank. Things are changing, and the changes make sense. Crypto has heard of deals worth $200 million in Bitcoin. They might want to wait. Last week, he said that he was between 63 and 64,000. So what does he think? Bitcoin may drop from $63,000 to $64,000 because people think there is more than $200 million lying around. What do you think? We just touched 67, so could we be seeing a push down from 68? This is the dip being talked about. It's clear that if it breaks through $63,000, the market will fall along with it. I'll tell you right away that I want ADA and that I'm going to buy a crazy amount of Cardano. I'm sure I've already talked about it. In fact, I turned it on after selling a lot of Cardano. I'm looking into it because I realized I should have bought the H bar when it's 23 to 30 cents, but this one could still become a strong force. It seems to go up and down between 70 and 75 cents. When it moves, it really moves. I do a lot of moving. You know, I'm not an investor in this range because I know it's hard, right? It would be better for me to pay 70 cents for this thing than for the temperature to drop to 60 degrees. Uh, but to be honest, it's not worth the trouble. I'm pretty at ease. It seems like the price of this gadget will go up a lot if we buy it for 70 cents. I won't mind if you know that I'll be happy with it 10 or 20 times during the run for this. Making that much money, but I don't think she's worth it. So I'm just going to sit here and stare at this thing, hoping it goes down even more. I'm not a business owner. I'm going to buy. That being said, I will sell when the bull run stops. Uh, that's the end of it. This is a clip of Buton that has been italicized. This is just a short film of Charles Hoskins leaving Ethereum and talking with Stephen about the mistakes. From a conversation that lasted almost three hours in this film, they agree that Charles is the key to his recovery. What have all of you been reading? Nobody is stopping Stephen not from getting out of jail. He doesn't care about how he looks. Much telling you about Ethereum, safety and lies, he's now just letting go. Uh, he even said he would keep going. If someone owns cryptocurrency, it means they are interested in other people's YouTube channels. He will tell you everything you want to know. 
Gav, stop paying attention to this now. Gav, doesn't he know that his business name needs to back him up, but he doesn't want to be the CEO? There should be a lot more talk about it in the WS. In my view, if Charles is the answer, I'm sure I could work with him. This means that if Charles had a clear directive from you that let him do his job without much interference, I'd be happy to do so. This is based on a lot of rubbish. It's strange that these big news sources haven't talked to Stephen about what happened with Ethereum yet.